May I have your attention, please? Meet Roboy, a robot designed to look and behave like a human. If you will turn to the central viewing screen, you will now see our introduction to Libra. Libra's government is small, democratically elected, but strictly limited in its areas of responsibility. The current head of the government is Dr. Paul Baker, former professor of market philosophy at Stanford University. When they call that living? Your screen shows the exterior design of Libra. varies from zero gravity at the poles to full Earth-like gravity at the equator, shopping walkways and small parks with grass and trees. A small river flows gently along the line over the 10,000 population. There is more than adequate recreation. When they call that living? You know, I've been a world senator for 10 years. Uh, you name it. But I have never before. These are reflected by large mirrors through windows into the sphere. Earth-like environment complete with trees, birds, and rivers as fences in environmental research have proved to be of great benefit to the Earth's ecology. When they call that living? What makes Roboy different to other humanoid robots is the way he moves. He's being developed to walk like a human. You know, it's their conceit that bothers me. They portray themselves as some kind of rugged individualist. Technology that put this casino they call a society. Economy that put the technology to work. Cheap source of water. Libra's economy is based on the engineering advantages of manufacturing in space. The automatic beam builder, fed by rolls of strip aluminum and extruding beams continuously, builds immense platforms. Libra's major industry is still the energy. Solar power satellites, pan base, and turn it into electricity. This energy is then beamed down to Earth. The microwaves are converted back into electricity. On Earth is limited by the atmosphere and cut off every night by the Earth's rotation. You know, what's fascinating is that these communities weren't built by a government. I heard they were started by a bunch of real pioneers. They're using crowdfunding and offering the chance for companies to have their logos etched on the humanoid's body. 